friends, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Today we're going to be making an herbal infusion that I use to make uh, lotions and lip balms because it contains a whole lot of properties that are good for the skin and just good all over. So I'm going to show you how I make my herbal infusions. Okay, so quite simply the herbal infusions are going to be easy to do. Um, you're going to take some herbs, put them in a container, and then cover them with oil and let them sit for four to six weeks usually in a sunny location. So the herbs that I'm using today are calendula, plantain, and lemon balm. Now usually you want to harvest your herbs early in the morning. That way uh, the sun hasn't baked them where the nutrients go back down into the root system. But you want to um, harvest them as early in the morning as possible. And with the lemon balm, you want to harvest them uh, before they start to flower. That's when the components of the lemon balm plant are the best. Um, but today I had to kind of break that rule of thumb because I was actually out of my infusion. And I'm going to be needing it to make some more lotions and lip balms. So I need to get some more going. So I harvested some today. I made sure that uh, I got the plantain from the shadiest spot in the yard. And then I harvested the lemon balm uh, under, under the main plant as close to the root under the shades as I could. And then um, the calendula, I just harvested as I could. I'm going to show you what those plants look like now. Okay, so in this container is my herbs and that I harvested today. So the plantain is a basic weed that grows um, almost anywhere. Um, and it's, uh, these are some big leaves because uh, I have a plantain that just grows like crazy and some spots in my yard we don't cut it very often. So the plantain leaves get really, really big. Usually when you see plantain, um, before you go cut your grass or weed whip around your um, home, they'll be about this size or smaller. Um, so yeah, we got some plantain. I got a bunch of that in here. And then lemon balm. Lemon balm is part of the mint family. And so it looks a lot like mint does. This is lemon balm here. And um, it's uh, really nice. It's very lemony. It just has a good smell. And it's got a lot of good medicinal properties. So I've got quite a bit of that in my little bucket here. And then calendula is a mar in the marigold family. It's called pot marigold, but it's not marigold. It's, it's different. So you want to get calendula. And it comes in all sorts of different colors. Um, these are just some of them. And this is the part that you use. It's the beautiful flower heads. So I've got that going. Um, I really like the this one it's got a couple different colors going on and they're the yellow and then it's got some tinge of the darker color so it's really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we make these into an infusion I'm going to take just a regular uh, this is a two quart mason jar with a, a lid and I like to do two quarts because I use this a lot with my um, my soap company because I do make a lot of uh, salves, lemon uh, lip balms, and um, I also use it to make teas, um, lotions. I use it for a lot of stuff, so I kind of need quite a bit of uh, infused oil. So I'm just going to use a two quart container. You can use whatever size container you have available, depending on how much uh, plant material you have. And then I'm just going to use basic olive oil. Um, this is the light variety. Uh, you don't want to be going out and spending lots of money on extra virgin olive oil for this. Um, you're not cooking with it. You're just simply using this as a medium to extract the nutrients from the plant material. So pretty easy. We're going to take this. We're going to take our plant material. And we're just going to stuff it in here. Looks kind of pretty too with all the different greens and the yellow and orange. And you notice I'm not destemming or cutting these into little tiny pieces. You really don't need to do that. I 
Alright. And it looks like I harvested just exactly enough. And uh, one of the other things I wanted to notate is uh, I don't worry about the leaves being pretty or whatever, just as long as there's no bugs or dirt on them right now. You can see uh, grasshoppers really ate that one and this one too, but that doesn't deter from the nutrients that's in this leaf, so I'm just going to go ahead and use them. There we go. So that's pretty good. Um, I compacted it quite a bit to get all that I had in there. So next we're just going to take our olive oil and we're going to pour it in. Now if you're going to use a different type of oil, olive oil is generally good, but you can use another light oil like canola or sunflower. Uh, you don't want to use something really heavy. There we go. And we're just going to put the top on it. Make sure it's good and tight. I'm going to shake this up and down just a little bit. Make sure it's all in those air pockets there. Alright, then we'll let the air back out. Then we'll add the rest of our oil. So I had just the perfect amount of plants and the perfect amount of oil left. How cool is that? I didn't plan on that. It just uh, happened that way. And I give thanks to the Lord for that because he's good at making things work perfectly. So I'm going to try to get these underneath here. I'm actually going to go get a weight that you use for fermenting and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my weight for um, my jar, and I just recommend doing this just to make sure the plant material stays underneath the oil and it works best. You can buy these uh, separately. Um, I bought them as part of a uh, fermentation kit. Um, I really love them. They're just uh, glass weights that you set on top like that, and it keeps the plant material beneath the um, liquid. And I might have to actually drain off just a little bit of oil because it uh, is pushing quite a bit out there. Let's see. No, actually, it's perfect. So just go ahead, go ahead and put the top back on. Maybe. There we go. All right. And then uh, I'm going to set this in a sunny location for about four weeks, four to six weeks. Um, sometimes it can go a little faster depending on how sunny you get and the temperature. Um, you just want to make sure that you let this sit long enough that all the good properties of the plant material are drawn out into the oil solution. So the longer you let this sit, the better. So anywhere from four to six weeks is best. So that's all there is to make herbal infusion. And I'll show you what a finished product looks like. Okay, don't mind the dust. This sits in my pantry and it's very dusty in our house over time. So. <laughs> but anyways, this is what your infusion is going to look like. It looks just like dark olive oil and there is a little bit of sediment in there. But this is basically what your herbal infusion or will look like when it is done. So what you do is you, uh, once you uh, are ready to go, you take the um, mixture, dump it into a strainer and let it strain out really good. Um, I recommend uh, lining the uh, strainer with cheesecloth. That way you can squeeze um, the plant material and get the extra oil out so you're not losing any oil. And then you'll put it in a jar with a tight fitting lid. I really love these mason jars because these lids work so great. I wouldn't recommend using the plastic reusable lids because they don't seal very well. Uh, I do recommend using the um, canning jar lids because they seal very good. Um, but anyways, uh, you set this in a dark place and it'll stay good for about four months or so. Um, but the sooner you use it, the better. Just because um, it, over time it does start to deteriorate in um, the nutritional value. So just like anything, um, the fresher the better, but it does have a long shelf life. So I hope that it 
answered your questions with regarding to how I use my calendula and plantain and things like that in my uh, garden. Um, this is just one of the many things that I do with it. There's lots more to do. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about herbal remedies and how to use different plants to help your family um, with minor ailments and injuries and things like that, um, I suggest that you do your research on Google and find some good herbology books. There's lots of information. Join some um, herbal groups that um, have people who are very experienced in um, the using uh, plants like this medicinally and how to get the most bang for your uh, bucks, so to speak, when it comes to plants. So thank you so much for watching. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I hope you have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.